But I spoke out forcefully against hatred, bigotry, and violence. But the very dishonest media, those people right up there with all the cameras. But Sheriff Joe can feel good. We have to close down our government. We're building that wall. So I think we'll end up probably terminating NAFTA at some point. And we are building a wall on the southern border, which is absolutely necessary. I don't believe that any president has accomplished as much as this president in the first six or seven months. I really don't believe. Those are just uh, some of the most memorable moments from President Trump's speech in Phoenix last night, uh, talking about uh, everything from racism to immigration and health care. And as usual, there's plenty of mixed reaction to his comments this morning. So joining us this morning to talk about that is Jevin Hodge, vice chairman of the Arizona Democratic Party. Good morning to you. Well, good morning to you all. Thank you for so, having me. So, and just in general, first of all, what did you think of last uh, night? President Trump is completely unhinged. When, with the rhetoric that he's expressing is only furthering dividing our country and providing a us against them mentality. Do you find that this is going to, um, I guess, enable or embolden uh, opponents in terms of uh, campaigning? I mean, we're so far out from any elections right now, too, that, that, that the, the timing of this seems like, gosh, we just got through well, the election. Well, the timing of it is, is exactly what we need to discuss. It's, it's disgusting to see a president in his eighth campaign rally entering his eighth month in office. That's not presidential at all. He's here to preside over the country, not campaign for another four years. Now, you say he's dividing us, but obviously his supporters uh, are with him, and uh, Democrats aren't doing much to help him in Washington. So, I mean, there's a lot of hate there, too. Well, well I, I wouldn't say necessarily hate. What, what it is, is he's providing an us-against-them mentality. And when expressing that us-against-them mentality, he's invoking and, and amplifying the negative emotions that his base per, has, what, what entails within uh, the individuals that, that are there supporting him, that are at the rallies, that are, that are feeding into his, his cloud of negativity and the nonsense that he's spewing into the world. And, and, and Arizonans are better than that. Americans are better than that. And we need to stand up against everything that he's discussing. We've got a Republican in the White House, Republican majorities in the House and the Senate. Uh, what can and should uh, the Democratic Party be doing to try to create a definitive voice that is an alternative that's not just in terms of resistance, but also uh, creating a narrative yep. that can take people forward. 100%. Yep. So what we're seeing is a wave of new energy. We're seeing individuals that have never been involved in the political process, that are excited and motivated to get out, register voters, talk to voters. We need to tap into that energy, and that's exactly what we're doing. And we're not just seeing that here in Arizona. We're seeing that around the country. There are eight Senate seats that are now predicted to be flipped in the upcoming mid-election cycles. What we need to do is to capitalize on the new energy that's now involved in the process and use that channel to move forward. You know, what do you think about what happened last night outside the convention center? Because uh, you've got his supporters and you have a lot of peaceful demonstrators and then you have all that ridiculousness at the end when it was all over. And I'm sure the supporters are looking over going, that's that's the issue right there. We, we saw hours of peaceful protesting. Right. We, we Hours and hours and hours of individuals that were peacefully demonstrating. We, at the Capitol, there, there was peaceful demonstrations. Outside of uh, the convention center, peaceful demonstrations. At the Civic Center, peaceful demonstrations outside of the event during the event peaceful demonstrations and that's what we saw what I can say is that we have to hear the story from both sides mm -hmm. the individuals that were involved in the process and we we have to wait to hear what the city and the police department has to say about this I, I what, what, what we can say is that we saw hours and hours of peaceful demonstrations and, and, and moving forward, that's what we have to do to keep this process. Jevin, going. we are out of time, but just very quickly, uh, the mention of the border wall this time was yeah. uh, we're willing to shut down the government yeah. in, in order to pay for this wall. What was your reaction that's to that? Despicable. That's the first time I've heard that. Right, that's despicable. We can't allow our government to shut down. There are jobs at stakes, there are lives at stakes, and we can't allow our government to shut down to divide people further. That's not what we stand for as Americans, and that's not what we're here to do. Well, we appreciate your uh, insight thank this you. morning. It's always nice to hear both sides of what happened. So thank you. Thank you. Jevin Hodge with the Arizona Democrats. Thank you so much thank for you your reaction. Thank you very much reaction. for having me. Uh, time now is 8.18.